Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Buffalo Bill. a bunch of food, a rifle, a six-gun, and three or four boxes of ammunition. Sounds like a regular arsenal. Oh, just wait till I catch him. Any no-count sidewinder that would steal from Judge Fair and Square Wiley deserves the worst punishment a court can impose. And just how you gonna catch him? On old Nelly? Well, never you mind how. I'll tell you. Oh, dang nabbit. I don't have enough trouble, now I've got to stub my concert and toe. Did you break it? Oh, just wait till I catch him. I'll throw the book at him. I'll give him at least 50 years. Well, Judge, you got to take this yeah. calmly. Remember your blood pressure. Oh, it ain't my blood pressure that's up, Calamity. It's my dander. Don't do it. Just wait till I get my clothes on. I'll go out and catch that sidewinder. Oh, oh. Clamdy, you keep the judge busy while I get Chief Saddle. But, Bill, the judge didn't say he was going to try and stop you from going. I know he didn't, but he will, and I don't want to disobey him. You know he can't catch anybody on that pokey old mule. But what do you want me to do? I don't know. Just do something. But, Bill, what? Sudden like, didn't it? Oh, I don't know. Must have been something I ate. Oh, honey, we haven't even had breakfast yet. Now I got to get going. That's it. Hunger pains. Oh. I guess I better get you fixed up. Oh. oh. What are you gonna do, Judge? There's only one thing to do. Give you some of Ben Wiley's famous home brewed remedy. Oh, not that awful stuff again. Why, sure. This will fix you up faster than a horse can flick his tail. It's a miracle. What's a miracle? My terrible ache has gone away. What do you think of that? Why, that young whippersnapper. You know that awful pain and ache you had in your tummy just a minute ago, young lady? Yes. Well, it's going to be transferred to the seat of your pants. Take that carbine. Well, you're just a kid. 
Did you steal all that stuff from the judge? Won't answer, huh? All right, get on your horse. Maybe the judge can get some answers to his questions. Session. Judge Ben Wiley presiding. Where's the prisoner? You're the prisoner? Yes. Well, yes, Your Honor. Sir. You trying to play some kind of a joke on me, Bill? No, Judge. He admitted the theft. Oh, what's your name, boy? Bobby. Bobby what? That's all I could get out of him. I tried to find out something about him, but just won't talk. Well, that being the case, I got no alternative but to try you on robbery charges, young man. But, Judge, he's only a little boy. Laws ain't made to exclude young folks' calamity. If he's old enough to steal, he's old enough to take his punishment. But, since you are sympathetic to the defendant, I hereby appoint you as defense counsel. Me? That's right. And Bill here will be the prosecuting attorney. Oh, no, Judge. I don't care what you want. You just keep your mouth shut. You're the prosecutor. Now, what have you got to say? Well, Your Honor, I... I guess I have an open and shut case. I caught him with the stuff, and he admitted the theft. Is that right, boy? Yes, sir. Your Honor, sir, I think you should give some consideration to my client. He was too young to know what he was doing. Well, I guess you got a point there, Calamity. Uh, what have you got to say, boy? I stole those things, all right. Well, I guess there's nothing left to be judged. And it's my painful duty to find you guilty as charged. But, Judge, you can't put him in prison. And as judge of this court, it's my duty to pronounce sentence. I sentence you to a uh, hot bath with plenty of soap and water and a good home-cooked meal. And furthermore, you'll remain in the custody of me and Bill until we can find out where in tarnation you come from. You'll keep an eye on this boy, eh, Bill? Yes, sir. Me, too. I'll keep an eye on him. In fact, I'll keep both eyes. How to use some of this soap on your tongue. Might loosen it up. Not a half bad idea, Bill. He might even tell us who he is. Oh, Judge. Oh, I'm sorry. What's he doing in here? Can a guy have any privacy? What is it, Calamity? There's two men outside that want to speak to you. What about? I don't know. They just said it was important. There you are, Bobby. Now, as soon as you dry off, you can use this shirt here. And don't try sneaking out on him. Don't worry, Bill. I'll keep an eye on him. Under the circumstances, my dear little sister, you better do your watching from outside. You boys want to see me? We do, sir, if you're Judge Ben Wiley. That's me. And this is my adopted son, Buffalo Bill Jr. I'm Kelso Dodge, Deputy Sheriff of Clearwater County, and this is Frank Patterson. Well, it must be pretty important business to bring you boys all the way from Clearwater. It is, Judge. We tracked a killer into your territory, and we think he's hiding out somewhere in the Mesa foothills. Who is he? Name's Tom Bishop. Can't say as I ever heard the name. Well, he was uh, traveling through Clearwater with a wagon train. Got in a little trouble with the sheriff, and a few hours later, the sheriff was found dying, shot in the back. We've come a long ways, Judge, and we mean to get Bishop if it's the last thing we do. He's a killer. It's a lie! He isn't a killer. He isn't! Bobby! Don't lie, and Bill. You gotta believe me. You know this boy, Deputy? Sure do, Judge. He's Bobby Bishop, the killer's son. I suppose you've got proof of Bishop's guilt, eh? Best proof in the world, I'm afraid, a dying man's word. The sheriff himself named Bishop as his killer. I heard it, so did Frank here. And the sheriff asked us to get his killer. <laughs> but we went out to arrest him. He'd already hightailed and taken the boy with him. If you need any more proof, take a look at that. Well, according to this, Bishop rode with Jesse James' gang down in Missouri. Well, that doesn't prove he's a killer. He quit Jesse's gang. Uh, take it easy, son. Of course, we'll do all we can to help, Deputy. Thank you, Judge. 
Have you any idea where a man might hide out in these foothills? Don't tell him, Judge. My pa's not a killer. You've got to believe me. Son, if your pa's innocent, he'll get a chance to prove it in court. Running away never proved anything, Bobby, and that's just what your daddy's doing. Nobody will believe him. They won't let him explain. He knows where his old man is. They ran off together. No, I don't. I don't. You're lying. Hey, take it easy, mister. Hurry, you. A busy war stub today, Bill. Oh, I'm sorry, Judge. I, I just didn't like him bullying a child. Well, Frank's temper just got the best of him, that's all. But you got to understand that the sheriff is one of his best friends. He's a little anxious to get the killer. I still say the kid knows where his old man's hiding out. I wouldn't tell you if I did. Come on, Frank. We got a lot of ground to cover. Let's get started. We'll find him. I know they will. Bobby, you've just got to believe us. If, if your daddy's innocent, he should give himself up. They'll kill him. They won't let him explain. We know that you didn't come driving into this territory on a sightseeing tour, son. You know where your pa's hiding, don't you? We'll talk to your pa, Bobby. We'll hear his side of the story. Y you won't believe him. Listen, we won't let anything happen to your father. That's a promise, if he's innocent. You'll help him, really? We'll help him, Bobby. Now, where is he? he? He's hiding out in the old mining camp near Sundown Mesa. That's why I stole those guns and the food. I was taking them to Pa. Bill, get old Nellie and Chief saddled right now. You've got to get to Pa before those men do, Judge. I'll get to him just as fast as old Nellie's legs will carry me. Now, don't you worry. They just got to help Pa. They will, Bobby. Everything's bound to turn out all right. I sure hope so, Calamity. I sure hope so. Not a sign, Frank. They haven't gone this way. Look at that. The judge and his kid they might have known more than they let on. That boy of bishops could have told him where his old man is. Just what I was thinking. Come on. We want to talk to you. I'm not talking to anybody. We're your friends. We want to help you. We've got Bobby in town. He's the one that sent us out here. Is Bobby all right? He's fine. Let us talk to you. Stay back. Bill, what are you going to do? I'm going to try and prove that Bishop isn't a killer.
this is Judge Ben Wiley. I'm called Buffalo Bill Jr. Bobby told us we'd find you up here. And you know about me? Yes, sir. Kelso Dodge and his partner showed up this morning. We've heard the accusations. But we wanted to talk to you before they found you. Bobby convinced us you've never had a chance to explain what really happened at Clearwater. I, I know that running away was the worst thing to do, but it was the only way. Bobby and I left Missouri with a wagon train of settlers. Outside of Clearwater, we were stopped by Kelso. He tried to impose a road toll on the caravan. That's illegal, isn't it, Uncle Ben? Well, that's the way I felt. It was my own stubbornness that got me into this. I went to the local sheriff, and when I told him about the road toll, he was amazed. Said he knew nothing about it. Well, then he apologized to me and said that he'd look into it. Well, I left, and that was the last I saw of him. The next thing I know, one of the settlers told me that the sheriff was dead and that Kelso Dodge was on his way out to get me. And you ran. Well, don't you see? I had to. It was the only way. Kelso was carrying on the illegal toll behind the sheriff's back. Oh, when I spoiled his little scheme, he must have killed the sheriff. Knew that he had a good case against me. I was sure that I wouldn't get any kind of a fair trial. Kelso would sooner kill me. And he and his sidekick claim they heard the dying sheriff name you as the killer. Mr. Bishop, there's just one other thing. Yes? Kelso had a newspaper clipping about the James gang. I rode with Jesse. After two months, I realized that whatever Jesse was originally had died with his increase in power and lust for money. I quit the gang. Believe me, I never killed a man then. I never have since. Well, now, ain't that a pretty speech? Coming from a murderer. We owe you a lot, Judge, capturing this killer for us. Wait a minute, mister. There's nothing to wait for. We got our prisoner, and we're taking him back to Clearwater. Put that gun away, Kelso. Just whose side are you on, Judge? Ours or this killer's? Or now, let's go, Bishop. He's not going anywhere, Deputy. What are you talking about? This prisoner is in my jurisdiction, and we're taking him to jail. You've got no interest in this? I've got plenty of interest in this, mister. There's legal papers to be filled out before we can turn him over to you. What kind of a stall are you giving us? No stall at all, deputy. Just obeying the laws of my town, which, coincidentally, I happen to make. Now, we'll turn Bishop over to you tomorrow. By that time, I should have all the necessary papers in order. But they won't matter. I'm sure it won't. You ready, Bishop? Oh, wait. Bill, you better take Bishop's gun. Yeah, we can't have a man as dangerous as he is too close to a gun. Oh, you bet. Prisoners, Judge. We'll pick him up in the morning. Come on, Bill. Help me down. Pa! Hello, son. Hope you're not mad at me, Pa. Buffalo Bill Jr. and the Judge are gonna help us. I know they are, Bobby. Oh, Pa, this is Calamity, Bill's sister. Hello, Calamity. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Bishop. Won't you come inside? These men folks of mine don't have any manners. I bet that's the nicest invitation a man's ever had to go to jail. to something. But what could they know? About us killing the sheriff? Bishop's got a turn on him. He knows he didn't do the killing. You think the kid and the judge would believe him? I quit thinking. There's just one thing I know for sure. What's that? We clear out of here with Bishop in the morning. There's only going to be two of us that reach clear water. And I'm certain that they'll never let me reach clear water alive, Judge. They want to see me dead and close the case. Well, saying that and proving it's two different matters. I know it, Judge, but it's the truth, I swear it. Well, if you're right, Mr. Bishop, there is a way we can prove it. 
Well, don't keep it a secret, Bill. It's real simple, Judge. Well, most things are, after they're explained. Well, a lot will depend on Mr. Bishop and how good an actor he is. Well, I'll never win any prizes, Bill, but when my life's at stake and Bobby's future, I'll try anything. Good. This is what we'll do. Tonight, after those guys go to sleep, I'll sneak at the hotel, see? Mm -hmm. prisoner now, Mr. Dodge. It's your responsibility to see that he gets back to Clearwater for a fair and judicial trial of law. We'll see that his son is looked after. Don't you worry, Judge. Bishop's going to get exactly what's coming to him. And we'll see that Buffalo Bill Jr. gets full credit for the capture. Yeah, you do that. Let's go, Bishop. So far, so good. Watch that third step, Bill. It's a dandy. going in clear water. Imposing illegal tolls on wagon trains? But you had to go bristling up about it and go running to the sheriff. An honest sheriff who called you down and got killed for it. We tried to stop the gravy train, mister, and we don't figure on anybody doing that. You want to run or do you want to sit there and take it? A bullet in my back's what you want, isn't it? To support your story about how the killer tried to escape. You've got to take it right, Bishop. But a bullet... And it's the last time it'll be uphill. Well, they're locked up good and proper, Tom. Thanks to you and Bill, Judge. Boy, those wire blanks you put in their six guns sure work good, Bill. I told you everything would be all right, Bobby. He's my brother. He can do anything. Except hold rain on you, little sister. Still planning on heading further west, Tom? No, Judge, I think we've found our home. We kind of like Wileyville and the people in it, don't we, son? We sure do, Pa. Well, that's good, Bobby, because in 10 years or so, I've got plans for you. Gosh, Pa, now it looks like I'm the one with the troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with this 
horse and with his gun He's not afraid of anyone Cause no one's quicker on the draw Or quicker to defend the law Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun Buffalo Bill Buffalo Bill Buffalo Bill Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill.